I know what you're thinking right now. We don't even have to talk. So this is how telepathy works. But of course telepathy works. I'm a mind reader. But the fact is that even when I'm reading what would be your thoughts, I'm really reading my own mind because you are merely a projection of my own intellect, as are all the things I see around me including myself. Help me. Please help me. Help you what? Are you okay, oh bornless one? No, Crystal, I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. What's wrong? I can't stop shaking. My teeth are chattering. I'm probably cold because I'm shivering again. Or maybe it's because I'm afraid. This feeling of voidness all around me, the sensation of cold empty space, the feeling that someone or something is out there waiting to pounce on me even though my skin is the cutting edge of the ever-expanding universe that is myself. Help me. It's getting bad again. Don't tell me I'm totally and absolutely alone. Please help me. How can you be afraid of something? You know perfectly well that there's nothing out there. That you are totally and absolutely alone. I asked you not to tell me that. Oh no, not this again. It's getting bad again. My stomach hurts. You're probably sick of listening to me all the time. Boy, is that an understatement. But we're here to help you. You made us and put us here to help you. Help me what? Whatever. That's too big. I don't need help to do whatever. I do that very well already. You put us here to watch over you, to make sure things went well, to move the hands of the clock so you'd have the feeling of time flow. Yes, and to reorder things like toilet paper, wigs, stuff like that. We also clean and keep house, keep food and supplies in stock and handy. But I don't eat up here. I couldn't possibly eat or drink up here on Northern Street. Not right now you can't, and you're absolutely right. This is not the space for eating and drinking. But eventually you will eat and drink to help you come down from here. Too bad I can't do that now. I sure am getting tired. This god thing is horribly exhausting. I wish I could lie down and dream. You can once you stop shaking. The quivering comes from a large amount of shiver and shake that makes the vibration which is the universe which is also incidentally your own body. That's got to feel uncomfortable vibrating like that, but that is the way it's done, as well you know. Luckily Crystal and I are built to maintain the universe without complaint. Do you know, so you can take a nap when it gets to be too much to handle? But I don't want it to always be my trip. Can you be real and take my place forever on this horrible painful miserable cross? How much longer is this going to go on? Can't we do something else? We can't be you. Only you are you. We are us, and none of this feels any better to us than it does to you. I thought you said you were built to take it without complaint. We were? But don't think for a minute that automatically means that we are actually never going to complain. You said you wanted to do something other than this. Yes, yes, anything but this, please. Okay, born Liz. What exactly would you like to do that you're not doing now? I don't know. I expected more. Sympathy, I guess from my Northern Street companions. Sure, you can rewrite the INI file to make us sound more sympathetic if you'd like. You can do anything, anything at all. You can take all paths from here. This is Rome, and, as you know, all roads lead from Rome. Isn't it all roads lead to Rome? I wrote that hundreds of human years ago, maybe thousands, but even if it happened yesterday, I wouldn't be able to remember a thing about that lifetime now that I am out of it. Maybe that's how come I don't know how to choose what to do next. I can't choose a lifetime or a path because I don't know all the options that are open to me. Then you'll just have to keep playing the same game over and over again, I guess, as usual. Why can't you just tell me what the options are? Because browsing the life is the same as living it. Couldn't I just browse the lifetime dream options with thumbnail photos and a short description with subject tags, before I click the... You know... Go inside button. Hey, Bornless, that's a great idea. I'll send it into the Blue Line Academy, and see what they can do with it. Gosh, does this mean the end of angst? The end of world pain? The end of this creepy miserable Satori mirrors on a crap? Is this going to give me the freedom to see what I'm getting into before jumping into an organic life form? 
Will the bornless one ever get out of here alive? Will bornless become a real run-of-the-mill human and find true happiness running a mill? Will you subscribe to this channel? Tune in to Norton Street's next exciting minisode and learn the answers to these and other equally obscure questions. Come with me, come to Norton Street, come to Norton Street, where we'll be at our feet and we can't get eat here on Norton Street. Norton Street, here we can't get eat on Norton Street.